Hello everyone, welcome to Sands of Aura. It's in early access, so we may encounter bugs or missing features. Let's uh, start a game. Well, we'll just leave it on the default, that's probably good enough. We have a character creator. Ooh, that uh, <laughs> looks very miserable. Uh, it, it doesn't really matter. Star, oh, start a weapon. Two swords. Oh, the helicopter blade. We'll just go with, uh, I think that's the default. It's fine. Talamel is in its twilight. The sands have buried its kingdoms. Corruption unburies its subjects. From such bountiful seeds, this world has reaped only entropy, chaos, and night. And though the secrets of Talamel's ruination are entombed below the Sea of Sand, it's a truth that will not rest. I hope that's not showing me the path because I'm never going to remember it. Okay, um, can I, do I have an options to turn the, oops, turn the subtitles on. Do we have subtitles? We don't appear to have subtitles. Maybe it's in the main menu. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't see your subtitles. If I'm blind, please let me know. Oh well. Oh, and uh, apparently that uh, ends the game. Oh, quits the game rather. Not to worry. First rule of video games, go backwards. <laughs> it's not time to leave. Okay. That's pretty funny. So what do we got? Uh, that's a jump. That's a dosh. A, a, a dosh. A dodge or dash. Um... And hold it is a sprint. There's not a lot of camera control. There's no up and down, only roundy roundy. Jumping allows you to reach areas that you would not otherwise be able to. Chests and other items may be located off the beaten path. Which is square because I'm using a tool shock four, but Whatever. Interact. Trainee equipment note and an armor rune. Uh, where's the journal? Here we go. Trainee equipment rune. Rindel, I hope this note finds you well. Well, not really. If you're reading this, you've come to confiscate my trainee's weaponry once more. A clear overstepping of your authority. But instead of following proper channels of grievance, I've simply hidden his tools of training in a place you'll never find. Because, as I've so many times made it clear, I believe you to be a fool. Mine in the order, not yours, Lawrence. 
And the rune is when socketed increases armor by 2.3%. That sounds not very much. Um, item law. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I keep trying to pull the camera back to look up. <laughs> I have a, a hitty. A hitty smack. How the... And there's a little goblin up there as well. But I don't seem to be able to ledge grab. I probably should not jump off the edge there, so... Is this a... That's the block, I think. I'm sure these uh, glowing things will tell me all about it. Within the menu, you can equip armor and weapons, view quests in your journal, or go to the options menu. That opens my menu. And that's your... if I'm stuck. So, okay. There's a journal. Active quests and completion quests is none. A map. We are apparently... can I use the mouse on... I can also use the mouse. Cool. I can zoom. I can drag. Dash pretty neat. Kingdom, village, hamlet, ruin and waypoint. I can set a waypoint with, with that, maybe? Oh, no, hang on. It's, uh... It doesn't matter. I'll figure it out. It's early access. <laughs> it's a glowing thing there. The stalagnates appear to move like musculature. Each undulating ligament is coloured in shades of the sun, at least as it's depicted in the books of old. Leaning closer, you see the formation is covered with dozens of glowing grubs. Hmm. Am I narrating this 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 character here or I don't know. Dodge or sprint. Give me the button a quick tap. He's a dodge. Hold down his sprint. Yes, I got that. Dramatic zoom out. Well, you may not be the most striking in Star Spire, but you're always reliable with the time. Good to see you, Knight to be. What say we save a town? Our town. It's a little disconcerting that he voice acting on like the first paragraph and the last paragraph, but you sort of it skips over the bits in the middle when he's not speaking. But anyway, uh, why us? If it isn't the remnant knights who will replenish Star Spire's water stores, then who? You believe this is a task for the town's bellwethers. <laughs> Recall just a few nights from last, as that fire sang its scorching aria inside Star Spire's church. How many of the town's watchmen stood by our sides to drown its furious spirit? A meager and sober few. <laughs> okay. But some of them did. And I suppose that does mean there's good intentions within the otherwise snivelling ranks. But goodwill only spread from the top down. Rindel, the lead bellwether, is failing them. Orders what they need, like what we have. But water is a deserved right to each and every soul in Starspire. So let's be the ones to provide it. I will check my journal and prepare. Quest accepted. Alright, I will check my journal. The reserve supply. Uh, Lawrence has a large reservoir of fresh water. It's stored in the broken remnants of a temple dedicated to the forsaken god Melgom. We must appease his wants by means of an offering. Find the offering to enter the inner sanctum of Melgom's cavern. Oakley dokley. 
rest. So this is our bonfire. And hang on, this is... I believe that is healing. On the bottom left there. And this should restore my heals. And I believe... Um, re revive all the enemies as well. Ring, ring the resonance bells will heal your wounds, refresh your testament bells, and save your progress. Throughout the world you'll find bells and dock bells. If killed, you will revive at the last rung bell. Enemies in the world will also revive, however. You will drop your glint, or monies, on death, and will have one chance to retrieve it after death. So a standard bloodstain mechanic. I have no offering to give. Ha! <laughs> Quite the door, isn't it? The Forsaken Gods may have abandoned us when we needed them most, but at least they left some awe-inspiring architecture for us to remember them by. Ah, how I wish we could just break it down. Try swinging at it with that fancy sword of yours. Full might, now, hard as you can. I jest, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> So what must we do? Well, minus a few arcane hoops in need of jumping, it's quite simple, really. Behind this egomaniacal moor is more water than you've ever likely seen in your life. Myself and the former knight stationed here on Starspire, we've been building a secret reserve. A whole cistern, hidden for when we may need it. I just noticed that my character's name is Multi or Mount or something. I don't know how to pronounce that, but anyway. Next. But this ancient, forgotten place, it was never meant to be a cistern. The Forsaken Gods enjoyed attention. Grand temples like this one, made so the kingdoms of man would bow before stone effigies and present offerings, buried underground, away from the light of Lysis. Next. And so an offering we must give. In that bowl there. So in lies the arcane hoops in need of jumping. Night to be. You need find an offering somewhere in this temple. And bring it back here. What the hell is with your head? <laughs> he looks slightly less disturbing from this distance. You are a gem, I'll admit. But this Forsaken God will not consider you an offering. Take nothing personal. The Forsaken Gods were asses of a celestial <laughs> degree. Always, my ward. Ever always. All right. It smells of smoke. Mm-hmm. The church fire was just above this temple. Much of it has collapsed down here. A great sadness. The only god that didn't abandon us, and her church is gone. Stay focused on the water. No sense weeping over burnt cinder. Or what will qualify as an offering? The forsaken gods were quite infatuated with arcane trinkets. There will be something down here that will qualify. Check the various shrines scattered through the temple. If they don't have offerings, they'll definitely have something you can use. And who were the Forsaken Gods? They were the ones who made this world beautiful and bountiful. Then took it away and abandoned us with the dust in their wake. They were a supreme unkindness night to be. Uh, you're not going to say the rest. This temple was built in the name of the god Melgom. He was believed to shape Talamel like it were a ball of clay in his hands. In essence, he's the bastard who made the mountains the valleys. Thank you, Lawrence. I think that's a big moustache on his face that's making it look all deformed. Now, it seems that the game wants me to go that way, because that's where the uh, all the tutorial prompts are. So, of course, I'm going to see what's this way. It doesn't appear to be stamina. Bar. Uh, However, this is a dead end, so that will probably open later. 
so I can... It has combos rather than uh, like a Dark Souls style stamina. Enemies must be dealt with or you may find yourself overrun. Unleash normal attacks to slay them. Which is R1. Normal attacks generate corruption, which builds up and can be released as a special attack. Whoa. Oh. And you dropped a haste rune. Increases haste by 0.35%. I don't know what haste does. So, hang on. There's another enemy somewhere. There's some enemies up there. I can see them. When you have generated enough corruption through normal attacks, unleash a devastating special attack upon your enemies using uh, R2. Using a special attack will also provide you with spell blade charges. And that purple bar there looks like it's got four segments, so... Yes. Oh. Somehow that missed. <laughs> no more enemies, just... Ooh. Well, that's one way of uh, not hiding the character. Um, testament bells will close your wounds and recover lost health. They are limited in supply and can be recovered by using the resonance bell. So it's triangle to heal. Yeah, let's jump. So there's an enemy over there. Problem is, I can't see which is the sort of edge of the room. Not really sure which way it wants me to go. Oops, that is not the attack button. Stuck on the stalactites. That is a chest that I nearly missed. An armor rune and some wrapped gloves. I can't pick up that spear apparently. So. Ah, two armor runes. Wrapped gloves. So, if I. You know, my stats on the left. Health and armor, and this gives me extra health and armor. Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, set bonus, dodgy. So if I've got two bits of armor, after dodging, I take less damage, and if I've got four, I take a quarter of less damage. Okie dokie. Fair enough. What is this? A spell gem. Frost Spellblade Gem. Attack. Frostburn. Slow enemies hit for two seconds and apply debuff. Dodge. Chill step. Leave behind a wall of ice. Block. In case. Cannot be staggered or stunned while blocking. And put that in your weapon. Um. Okay. There's a path there. Oh. Cheeky. I'm never going to remember to use all these. Uh... <laughs> ah. What does that do? I don't know. I don't know what that did at all. <laughs> I now have wrapped pants. That looks like it kind of goes to the same place. Ah! Oh! Monies. 
Whoa. I'm not sure what that uh, shield floating around me was. This does go to exactly the same place, okay. Now, can we get this without falling off? Scripture of Lysis. A priest may find use for this scripture. They may be traded for powerful blessings. Did I read this uh, tutorial? Spellblade. While you have a spell gem, which I currently do, you may build up spellblade charges through special attacks. While active, you can use block, dodge, normal attack, or special attack, and use L2 to activate the spellblade. Okay. And that is a fire gem. Couple of ways to go. Whoop. Okay, so it's just a some sort of buff. Uh, it doesn't really seem to last long. Oh, that's what those dots there are. Just above the little icicle thing. Always go behind the wall. No. Oh. <laughs> Boo, you failed video game. You had one job. Inspect. If if it weren't for the time-worn straps that make this bag so recognisable, it would be the mixed aromas that emanate from within. Galena's medicine bag. Okie dokie. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, I'm... Sort of going a long way. Well, what happens if I do this and then this? Ah! <laughs> I see. So it's power ups. I really don't know which way the game wants me to go. Here's another scripture of Lysis. One moment. The people of Starspire once interred their dead here amongst those that have been dead for a millennium, warmed by Melgum's embrace. It's not very warm here, though. Not at all. <laughs> so this should be that shortcut. New ice. Um, that means I got a lot of stuff that I think I missed. Hang on, we're going to do a quick once over. You know, he told me to try hitting the door. Maybe I should, <laughs> just to see what happens. Uh, which way did I go? I went. Oh, that's right, this went to the same place, so it doesn't matter. And then I went that way. What the hell is that? It's a person. It looked like a little floating mushroom monster. Ah, dear night to be. Your presence warms my soul, but not a creaking thing for my fingers. <sighs> Frigid, wretched place, this temple. Even with the Church of Lisa still in embers, right above the very spot where we stand. A horrible thing, that, the fire. Yes, it was terrible. And that fire, it's left us with all this. An entire river of runoff. Ashen, sickened runoff. My, we threw all the water we had at that fire, didn't we? Uh, well, at least we're still alive. What are you doing down here, Galena? I'm still holding out hope that I can salvage something from the church above in this runoff. 
We lost a lot of memories in that blaze, and a friend, too. Even if he did what he... Uh, well, anyway, there's a chest that's caught in the debris at the mouth of this runoff. May be worth your while. Can we drink from it? We can't, no. Ash and debris aside, this water carries the corruption of the Night Plague. One drink, you might start to have shadowed thoughts. A full belly of it. You will not be you anymore. We can't let a soul in Starspire drink from this. That sounds like a terrible hangover. Goodbye. And don't forget to use your bells if you're in need. Where's this chest she mentioned? More of them. Ah! Die. Oh, um, I didn't actually notice that I was uh, almost dead. Ha! <laughs> More ways to go. Oh, here is a chest. Ah! Cheeky sods! You're right here. Where's the other ones? Did I kill them? Maybe I killed them. A special attack room. Ah, there they are. Pommel Masterclass Janky. Increases damage. Eh, that's not terrible. Um, use to learn to craft weapons with this pommel effect. Okay. Does that go in the journal? No, it doesn't. So do these go in weapons as well? No, you can stick them in armour. Okay. Well. Uh, we came from that way, I think. Uh, it's a bit hard to see, but I think that is back towards the start of this level. Right, here we have... The stones beneath your feet have been delicately carved by hand. This pattern is found all across the temple, but here encased within the circle, it gives the sense of waves in an ocean. At least how you would imagine waves to be. I imagine it would, yes. You will not take damage while holding block. Time your block just right to avoid taking damage and momentarily stun the enemy. So that's a parry. So it's a uh, hold to block or time it for a parry. Can we parry you? Looks like we can. Nice. Oh, that was, that was badly timed. And I am just about dead again. <laughs> what is this? I think that was money. Gotcha. It's not highly responsive after you do that to attack. It's uh, a little bit sort of delayed. Melgom's Temple of Sanctum... what Sanctum set? Melgom's Temple of the Free Spirit. Melgom's Temple of the Life Prism. Melgom's Temple of the All Right. Melgom's Temple of the Deep Well. Melgom's Temple of the Pure Sea. Was that all of them? No, Melgom's Temple of the Kind Shade. How many are there? Melgom's Temple of the Fellow Star. Eight. Okay. Pick up Offering. I have an Offering to Melgom. 
in a repped coat. And that. I still don't have whatever that is. Ah, that must be your other hand weapon and a helmet. Okie doke. Oh, ah, really? <laughs> Okie doke. They seem to have two different ways of spelling Lysis. Um, anyway, we did get a shortcut. That apparently is what happens when you f completely flub your, uh, your parries. Now, which way? Oh, whoops. I don't remember how to build up my spell gems. <laughs> ah, well, there's my helmet. Now I have the sit bonus. After dodging, I take 25% less damage for one second. That might be what those little shield things are. Requires inner chamber key. Well, I don't have a key. What is this? A lightning spellblade gem. Okay. So now I've got a couple of different ones. The spell gem will replace and destroy a previously attached gem. Hmm. Kind of makes me not want to use it. <laughs> Far below you, bridges extend across the endless abyss. These were believed to be the aqueducts that transferred the water supply to the great kingdoms across Talamel. And yes, we're back here. Quite sure how long you can hold that for. Oops. <laughs> now, where were you? Here we go. Is that the only one? You are. Holy good gravy! That hurts. Whoa, this guy is for real. Whoa, my, um, well, my animations keep locking me in place. <laughs> Yeah, it's not uh, super smooth to change from one animation to another. Whoops. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Sacramite dust. Fine grains of precious ore used to fortify armor and weapons. So that is my upgrade material. There is another sacramite dust. What else do we have around here? Which way did I come from? This way. And... Yeah, that was where I came from the first time. Alright. So now I have the offering. Didn't find a key, so... Don't know how to. Well, hang on. Yeah, yeah. There was a key for the the door back there, but I don't know where that is. I'll just uh, 
Have a little rest. And now I will place well the Well done, down. Knight to be. Well done. The water, it's just through here. Uh, come, this way. Onward. Quest updated. Um. Follow Lawrence into the inner sanctum. Well, I mean, he's not moving. I guess I'll lead the way. So it puts you facing backwards, or the camera facing backwards. Behold, the reason Star Spire will never dry up. This cistern is. What is that foul? Oh, no, 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 Lysis, no! It's all burnted. Nothing in here? Doesn't look like it. Looks a bit like a boss arena though, doesn't it? Corrupt corpses. There, in the water. Fallen from the church fire. If we act quickly, most of the reserve can be saved. Work quickly! I can see them. I can't really uh, do anything about it. Um, activate the mechanism on the pedestal. And he's dead. <laughs> Lawrence is gone. Uh. Can I? I was about to say, can I parry? But uh... Oh, I think I kind of scraped it a little bit. I don't know who this guy is, it's question marks. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, I thought he was about to shoot his laser at me again. Oh! Can I heal, please? Thank you. Oh, now he is about to shoot his laser at me. like some sort of those yellow numbers are like critical hits or something it's like a backstab or something I won first try <laughs> ah maroon a scripture see there lessus instead of lesus early access <laughs> health rune Oh, hey, it's Galena the Mushroom Lady. Lawrence, what's happened? Ear splitting, that screeching. Are you bleeding? Up, up. We've got to get you out of here. Lawrence has been wounded. Whatever that creature was, it was the sickened water that made it. <coughs> we must drain the reservoir. All of the water. Drain it all. Night to be. I'll take care of it, Larry. You two just, uh, yeah, <laughs> do your own thing. 
As you work the ramshackle device, a heaving sigh is heard deeper in the chamber. The sound of rushing water causes saliva to swell in your cheeks. But this water is not for you. It is for no soul here. It's all the poop water. We have to get rid of it. I like this lighting. Got shadows. You can see the shadows of the fence from my lantern there. Oh, oh I thought I'd found a secret, but... I think that would be death to fall down there. And sort of this, the blue lighting from these things is sort of reflecting off my off my character there. It's pretty cool. Leave the inner sanctum. With that Lord of the Rings font. Okay, what do you want me to do now, game? Exit the cavern and return home to check on Lawrence. Well, I never did find the key for that other door there. Oh, the water he's gone. Now that's a neat detail. This was the star, wasn't it? Yes. Leave the cavern. Well, that's pretty much the tutorial. Uh, what really attracted me to this game... Where was the map? I don't remember. There was a map somewhere, wasn't there? There. Um, the exploration. It's... Uh... Ah. That's the zoom on the on the, the uh, DualShock 4 controller. Um, yeah, the exploration. like It's... it's sort of an open worldy sort of thing and you've got all these islands that we're going to have to find and uh, yeah the exploration is what really drew me to this game from what I've seen of it this apparently is sand not water but it's got a very nice watery rippling effect there but anyway that's the tutorial done these are like pathway markers these flowers so that's a a nice look into uh, Aura of Sands. And that will do that for the... If, uh, I think uh, this is a pretty cool sort of a game. I might... Cannot board the grain wake, okay. I don't know how long it is. Uh, it's early access, I believe... The... It's like one of those um, early access. It's not the entire world is not accessible right now and I don't know how much of it is but uh, this is a pretty good game so far I kinda like it from what I've seen and what I've played it's pretty good so uh, thanks for watching and bye bye